Newfoundlands are known for their giant size, intelligence, tremendous strength, calm dispositions, and loyalty. They excel at water rescue, life saving because of their muscular build, thick double coat, webbed paws, and swimming abilities. Here's what you need to know about the Newfoundlands. 1. Newfoundland originated in Canada. The Newfoundland dog did indeed originate in the Dominion of Newfoundland, now a province of Canada, where he was used as a working dog by fishermen. He descended from a breed native to the island and known as the Lesser Newfoundland or the St. John's Dog. DNA analysis confirms that the breed is also closely related to other Canadian retrievers like the Labrador and the Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever. 2. Newfoundland is huge. On average, male Newfoundlands grow to be between 130 and 150 pounds, while female Newfoundlands hover somewhere between 100 and 120 pounds that's bigger than some fully grown humans. 3. Newfoundlands are amazing swimmers. Newfoundlands were originally bred as working dogs, primarily serving as rescue and service dogs on fishermen ships. While they rarely serve as ship hands anymore, their expert swimming abilities are still alive and well. 4. Newfoundlands have webbed feet. One of the reasons Newfoundlands are such incredible swimmers is that they have partially webbed feet, wide, big muscles for swimming in rough waters, their fur coat is double thick and oily which helps to make it like a warm raincoat and they can hold their breath for a long time. 5. Newfoundlands make great water rescue dogs. NN because they are so strong and such great swimmers, Newfoundlands are famous for rescuing people from the water. There are many stories that tell of how Newfoundland dogs have saved sailors that were stranded in the sea when their ships sank. They're strong enough to pull a person through rough seas to shore or safety. They've also been known to save their owners from drowning in swimming pools. 6. Newfoundland puppies love to eat. Newfoundland puppies can gain a whopping 100 pounds in their first year of life. And to put on that kind of weight, they need a lot of food. If you're adding a Newfie puppy to your family, be prepared to support a voracious appetite. 7. Newfoundland is very loyal. If you're looking for a ride or die kind of dog, you won't find a breed more loyal than the Newfoundland. Newfies are known to physically place themselves between their humans and strangers as a form of protection. They're also commonly referred to as a nanny dog due to their gentleness toward children in the family. That's what we call loyalty. 8. Some Newfoundland dogs are black and white. While the majority of Newfs are solid black, perhaps with a touch of white on the chin, chest and toes, it is the white Newf with black markings that boasts a lasting artistic connection. As an homage to the famous English painter, Sir Edwin Henry Lanzer, who often chose the black and white Newfoundland dog as the subject of his works, this color pattern is known as the Lanzer. There are also solid brown and solid gray Newfs. 9. Newfoundland is very smart. Newfoundland dogs are actually smarter than they look. These highly intelligent dogs are even referred to as the smartest breed of dogs there is. Most Newfoundland dogs can follow basic commands and manners easily, for this reason, they take to training really easily. Some people might think that these dogs are so smart that they seem to not need training at all. However, Newfoundland dogs will need training just like any other dogs. They may be highly intelligent, but they cannot train themselves. 10. Newfoundland Exercises You have to remember that Newfoundland dogs are bred to be working dogs. That means that they are in constant need for activity. They need daily exercise that may include walking, swimming, hiking, and the like. If you let them just lie around doing nothing, they will do exactly that, and it'll be terrible for their health. You should always initiate the activity with your giant dog. In addition to exercising their bodies, you shouldn't forget to exercise their minds as well. 11. 
Newfoundland has a short lifespan. Newfoundlands also have an average life expectancy of about 8 to 10 years. While they are not a brachycephalic breed, they do have health problems in hot temperatures due to their heavy coats. Newfies are also prone to bloat and heart failure in the form of subaortic stenosis, which is hereditary in nature. 12. Fairly High Maintenance To keep the Newfoundland's thick coat looking great, he needs regular grooming. You can do it yourself, which is time-consuming, or you can hire a professional groomer, which can be expensive. The Newfoundland thrives in cool climates though he can adapt to living in warmer climates. 13. Newfoundland dogs have won at Westminster twice. Many breeds are still waiting impatiently for their day to win best in show at the Westminster Kennel Club, the most prestigious dog show in America that takes place every February at Madison Square Garden in New York City. Newfoundlands have triumphed here twice, Adam more formally known as Champion Seward's Blackbeard, claimed the top prize in 1984 and, two decades later, it was Josh, Champion Darbydale's All Rise Pouch Cove, who stole the spotlight in 2004. 14. Great with children. There should be no surprise here. Newfoundland dogs are known to be great for children. Some parents may hesitate because of their natural size and strength. However, these dogs have proven time and again how gentle they are and how easy they are to be around with. As a matter of fact, Newfoundland dogs have a famous nickname, Nanny Dogs. During the Victorian times, many families trusted and used these dogs to watch and care for younger children. As big as these dogs are, children can rely on them to be great playmates. They're fun and almost otherworldly to kids especially those that are still much smaller than a full-sized Newfoundland dog smaller than a full-size Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.